Hello, I'm Tui Zero EMO, aka Mitchell, and this is my presentation on decoding APRS using AFSK 1200 decoder. This is a free piece of software, and I'll put a link into the description section so you can get hold of it. This is a very basic presentation, as the software has not got any fancy features to it. What is AFSK 1000 decoder? Basically, this is a piece of software that will decode APRS packets. Um, you will not need a TNC as the software will decode it already. You are not transmitting, so a TNC is not required. Th basically, you simply will be connecting the radio into the laptop or computer via a line in or a microphone socket. The software will work with most radios that have a speaker out. For this presentation, we're using a Putzin 328, which is a 2 meter VHF radio, and I have tried this on my ICOM F510 and also a Yasus FT7800. You can run this without a license if you're only listening to the data, which is a great way to experiment with APRS and see what there is and how the data is transmitted. Um, it's brilliant for new licensees to learn about. For this video, we'll be using a laptop, the Puxin, and a cable that will connect the laptop to the radio, which is a 2.5mm jack to 3.5mm jack. This will be connected via the radio's output and straight into my laptop's input. We will be using the 144.800 MHz band which is in the 2 meter section in the UK. There is no CTCSS. If you are watching this video from outside the UK please consult your local band plan as I am aware in America they use a different frequency but for this presentation this is mostly going to be to demonstrate in the UK. We can now see we can now see a screenshot of the AFSK1200 decoder software. This is it in its normal usage. Where I'm going to go through a few of the steps of getting it to work. First off, you'll need to select your microphone input. Mine is a Realtek High Definition, which is my laptop's built-in one. I have connected the radio to my microphone in, so that we have set, I will select the microphone from the menu, and also check the radio is going to work. Once I've connected the radio to the laptop and I've selected my sound card, you'll notice to the top right there's a bar which is a sound meter and you need to make sure that stays green. If it goes red, you risk causing further damage to your computer. I would recommend you use the lowest power on the radio for the sound and also disable any microphone boost equipment or software defined boosting built into your laptop or computer. Now we have to, we, you need to set the little play icon which is next to where you select your microphone input. Hopefully you should have some packets decoding. If you don't have any packets decoding, maybe your sound is too quiet or you need to adjust it. What you can do now is hopefully if you've got some packets decoding, the first thing we'll notice is there is a time. This is the time the packet was received by your computer. You should try and keep your computer in sync with the time of the world, so this point it is your local time roughly unless you're in another country where you have borders and time differences. Next you'll see the person who is the packet sender. For example if I was to send a packet it would come as 2E0 EMO would come up as the packet sender. Next it will say VAR and it will be who has received your packet. Next there it will say the method I sent it on my mobile which is my Samsung and was using a prior droid. That is basically the simple use of the software, nothing too fancy and I thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed my video please subscribe 